Wednesday, May 11th. It's 9.28, almost 9.30 tonight. This is very important here, what I'm uh, going to ask here. I know a lot of you have already done it, but I'm going to say this. Um, to those that haven't. Um, what we need to do here today, because listen, we are getting so close right now to the very end of all this, okay? And I had somebody say to me once, uh, many of you probably heard of who he is, uh, gospel um, intelligence. He's told me once, he goes, here's my email, get in touch with me, I'm going to take off my armor of God and you take off yours. In other words, let your defense down. And I'm going to read this to you tonight here. The whole armor of God. Nowhere does it tell you to take it off. And nobody nobody that is truly dwelling with the Holy Spirit would ever ask you to take it off either. Okay? We are in evil times, my friends. Very evil. Um, I'm not going to be getting into conflicts with these people. I've got these people when they make these comments about, you know... Not to worry about this stuff. We're all delusional. and No, we're not delusional. We know exactly what's happening. Um, a lot of these weird, ugly looks that you're getting, I'm, like I'm getting them too. These demonic spirits, um, they're hosting millions of people at the same time. So you could be walking by any one of them at any given moment, and they might look up at you like with a real hateful look, you know, like they hate you, can't stand you. That's because it's that spirit that's in them. Now, I'm going to read you this and, uh, and point out a few things we need to always keep in remembrance of right now. Because we're at the door right now. That's why Jesus says, I have a door open that no man can shut. And he also says, I know you have little strength left. And I'm going to tell you, I haven't been feeling too hot myself. Headaches, um... But here we go. The whole armor of God. This is where we need to be every day. You put it on, you leave it on. Um, then you pray always, you know, that this prayer. This is a good one to go back to and you keep that, keep suited up through this, what's going on. Finally, my brothers, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Remember that, these words, because they're very important. Um. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Okay, because He's very powerful and they know it and they don't want you to know this. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places. And we know it's in high places, man. It's in our government. You know, and then they stripped our schools of it and they told you on the workforce it don't belong there either. That's why most people aren't allowed to even discuss it. But let me tell you something. That's why I say let it go. Your job ain't worth uh, your, uh, your, your soul. You know what I mean? It's not worth it. And they want you to deny the name of Christ so you'd be left behind. They don't like me giving you that message either. You know, just stop and think about it, man. But they're over there talking about politicians, but they don't want you to talk about Jesus Christ. That's denying his name. They know it. In any shape or form. I've had people say, if you just speak less about Jesus Christ, we can build your business up. I said, that ain't going to happen. I said, I'm speaking more and more. The more I see this evil, what's happening, the more I'm going to speak. I said, that when they said that to me, it made me even want to get on a, a loudspeaker and point them out, you know, who these people are. Now, put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, 
but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Remember now, this is spiritual. That's why they're going to say things. If anybody ever tells you, you know, you know what, take your armor off and I'll take my armor off and let's have a conversation about this. You know what I mean? One on one. Don't. Don't take it off. That's the devil. That's the demons. They're trying to let your guard down. Don't do it. I've had them say that to me already. And I know people by, the Bible says that, know them by the fruit that comes out their mouth. And trust me, man, when I'm saying these people um, that have been coming up against me, it's not so much the person as it is the spirit that's in that person. We don't know what a person did. You're seeing people on YouTube. You don't look at the individual that you're seeing. It could be the spirit that's hosting them. If the Holy Spirit ain't with you, you could have a demonic demon. You know, there's a very good chance there's a demon in you. You know, and, uh, you know, you're not going to know who you're even talking to. It's going to be a demonic spirit. Uh, Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. And trust me, we're here. And having done all to stand, stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. And for me the utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly, to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in bonds, and therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. This is where we're at, people. It's very, very vital, you know, that we uh, keep that armor on right now, you know. I mean, don't think you can do it by yourself. You Really, you can't. We need God. We need our Lord Jesus Christ. That's why we pray to him. They don't want you to think that. That's why, have you ever heard people say, well, you got to save yourself? You know, or do you think Donald Trump will save us? Or do you think uh, such and such will save us? You know, that's what they want you to say that. So, they, so they're so they getting you guard. They're trying to strip you down, man. And, uh, and I'm telling you, man, this is not the time. you got to be strong. That's why I said also, if you have to let something go, let it go. Because it's not worth your eternal soul. Let me tell you something, after we're raptured out of here, and I use the word rapture, that's where it says in here in St. Luke, pray that we're worthy to escape, okay? Rapture means to be taken out, okay? There's going to be a moment in the twinkling of the eye when the dead are resurrected, the first resurrection. Those that are alive and remain will be caught up with them, okay? We want to be taken out of here. We want to, we're praying that we're worthy to be taken. That's what the Holy Bible says. St. Luke 21, chapter 21, 35 through 36. Those are just where the key words are. But it's, read the whole chapter, you know. I'm just telling you where these words are at. And then in uh, Revelations 3, 8 through 12, uh, it speaks also about, Thou has not denied my name. That's why I'm telling you, when you're at work, I don't care if they say it's not allowed on the job. Um, they say it's poli poli politics aren't allowed on the job, but they're talking about it, aren't they? So therefore, when you hear somebody talking about them, you tell them, oh, my, my Lord and Savior is the only one that's going to save me from this. You know, don't deny his name, Jesus Christ. You get an opportunity to say his name, especially in front of the children, and you know, because they need to hear this, you know. Don't have no fear, you know, of saying it. You need to say it. If more more people would speak up, we wouldn't be in the mess we're in. 
And sadly, everybody's worried about their worldly things. And I'm saying, let it go. Let it go, because this is all over now. And he's getting ready to start this all over. The devil knows it. His time's, he, it's at hand. He knows he's got very little time. And see, and I know gospel intelligence hates this. And I know his uh, followers, some of the followers that he's, that's with him hate it. You know, they're always trying to put stupid things on my videos and, you know, saying things that are trying to mislead people into looking at certain channels that are perverted. Be careful what you're surfeiting for, you know, searching to and fro. You want the whole truth, nothing but the truth, and keep it in the Word of God about our Lord Jesus Christ. Because only He can save us. I've got new subscribers coming on here all the time. So that's important that you see that little angel. Remember what I said. If the Holy Spirit's not dwelling in you, then something else could be. Anybody that doesn't have the love of Christ in them, be careful. We're getting ready to leave. You see at the end of that trumpet there, there's a clock, a white horse, and a bathtub. That's where we get cleaned, by the blood of Christ. Okay? By the blood of Christ, we get cleaned. That's where we're going to get our robes for the wedding. And I'm going to tell you something now. We're, we're all being spiritually attacked, too. These are demonic demons, okay? These are things that you can't see. They're spiritual things. They're really here, man. And people are trying, that are being hosted right now, they're in our military, man. Big time. I mean, big time. That's why they got those plastic coffins set up in different places. With the military trucks, they're all in place. They're ready to do their thing. But I'm not going to focus on them because um, this has always been, the Lord's known this from the very beginning. What I'm focused on is what you guys are doing Right, keeping the whole armor of God on, and uh, don't deny his name. Don't deny the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. If you knew how vital this is, man, read Revelation 3 where it says that you did not deny my name. St. Luke 21, chapter 21, 35 through 36, pray that you're worthy of to escape these things that are about to come upon the whole earth. Okay? That's why I'm saying, if you want to escape these things, you don't deny his name. And I'm always telling you to let this go. Let it go. They don't like my message here because they know it's the truth. They hate it. I've been doing this for a long time now. A lot of the churches are even far off. You know you're not hearing this in the church. You guys got a lot of pastors in there that don't even belong in there. They're masons and stuff like that. They've, they've hijacked our churches a long time ago. Not only that, they get paid for it. It's tax exempt. They're making a lot of money. Look at all the stuff they've been building and doing. You know, look at the homes, the cars they're driving while they're teaching you false doctrines. They're not teaching you what's right. You know? <laughs> the church is definitely afflicted today. That's why you always see me wearing these shirts. Affliction. The true word is being afflicted today. And and it's not going to be long. Nobody's going to have jobs here. Once, um, once we're taken, the earth's going to be destroyed. Once it's destroyed, things are all wickedy, wickedy. There's going to be martial law. The only people that are going to be getting jobs are the ones that get the mark of the beast on their hand or their forehead. I don't know how they're going to do it, but all it's going to you just get a job and you're going to probably have whatever it is that they're doing, you know, whether it's a probably a chip or a mark or something. They're doing it to your pets now. They're making it mandatory that your pets have it. Then they're telling people, oh, it's a good thing, you know. If they get lost, you get them right back. You know, next thing they're going to be telling you, it's a good thing for you too. You know, if you pass out, we'll be able to check your chip and we'll know exactly who you are and what to do. Cast you in hell is what they're going to do. Revelations 3, it clearly says, all right, when I talked about St. Luke, chapter 21, 
verses 35 through 36, where it says, Pray that you're found worthy to escape these things. Uh, Revelations 3 explains, you know, that, uh, you know, don't deny his name, you know. And it says he has a door open that nobody can shut because he knows that you have little strength. Um, I've been uh, I've been dealing with these things for quite a while, man, and I'm just at the point where I know what I'm dealing with. I know I've seen it. I've I've told you guys on here where I've seen them hosting people, um, just hosting them, you know, like a puppet, you know, controlling them. Uh, Matthew's twenty two, the wedding supper. I've told you how I've been going to churches all over the place trying to get people to. Uh, Telling them this is the end, man. We need to be getting... And everything it says in the Bible where it says they were busy, went about their worldly ways, their things, their merchandise, their, their farms, their possessions. They had to go because they were, had things to do. And uh, that's what it felt like to me, you know, because I tried getting people, bidding them to come, to come, you know, and nobody was coming. And then it says in there where he's going to lay waste to this. He's sending his armies down here to destroy a lot of this stuff, burn up the cities. And then he says he's sending us out into the streets. Matthew's 22, 5 through 10. He's sending us out into the streets to uh, bid the good and the bad to come into the wedding. So there's going to be a chance for a lot of people that uh, never even went to church. Because obviously we got a lot of people that are in churches right now that are hanging on to their merchandise. They're more important things. They feel those are more important than uh, what's coming. You know, we're leaving here. That's why he said, I encourage you to buy from him gold and silver from the kingdom of heaven, not from this world. Not from this world. You know, I've had the luxury... Of staying in a motel here for a little few weeks, and let me tell you something, it did feel good to stretch out for a while, but uh, come this Saturday morning, I'm back out into my truck, you know, I've lived in that truck for quite a while, seven months, I lived in my shop for two years before that, and I had to walk away from everything here, I had, well, I didn't have to, it was a choice I made for my eternal soul, and, uh, and I figured I'd this is the time to try to warn people, and sadly, um, nobody believed it. Um, I wish I would have gotten on YouTube a lot sooner because I think I would have had a lot more people aware than, you know, I guess I was supposed to did what I did, you know, at the churches, even though they rejected it. You know, I believe that's what he wanted me to do. I know that is because I heard the words that are in the Bible. I heard the exact words that are in there. It was like deja vu to me. You know, hearing people saying how they had to go their barbecues or whatever they had going on, you know. I went home with people after the services and only to have them turn on the uh, football games, you know, or sports, you know, and I thought we were going to go there and talk more about the Word of God, and no, you know, they were nice enough to make me a th cup of coffee, but they were like, watch, watch the games, man, watch the games, and I'm like, this is why you were in a hurry to hurry it up and get back here for this, you know, and see, so yeah, my old football coach offered me a job at Tampa Bay Lightning Stadium, he goes, I'd give somebody like you 60000 a year to work here. Really? Somebody like me, huh? Just keep my mouth shut? I'm not going to do that. I know what's happening. I know this is the end. I told him, I said, these games are over. And he went, no. No. And it sounded very, when he said it, it sounded like a, like a spirit that was in him that was thousands of years old, man didn't even sound like him. It sounded like something totally different, you know. Um, they know who I am. You know, they know I'm here. I mentioned on here where I, when I was 16, I had the foot of my bed picked up and slammed down to the ground three times. And that's the reason why in this picture, a year later, I see, that's when I took this photo, a year after that. You know, and it's just something how I end up taking like, looking like I'm on a cross, huh? Did a crucifix. 
I took that photo, I set that camera back on that counter. I never gave it another thought until two years ago, 2014. I've got people on YouTube that are mocking it. You know, they're saying I show it all the time. They don't like to see it. So that's why I like to make sure I show it. Not only do I show it, I also like to make sure anybody that wants a photo of it, send me your email and I will send you a copy of it. And you can look at it yourself. There's nothing fake. Then you notice at the end of the trumpet, the clock, the white horse, and the bathtub. You know, you don't set this kind of stuff up, man. The Lord does, but we don't. To that angel there, that was probably just a moment ago. You know what I mean? Even though it was like in 1977. See, not only that, I was 17 then. 77 plus 17, the 7, there's three sevens. I'm telling you, man, there's a lot of stuff tied into this stuff. A lot. Not only that, I'm my mother's fifth child. I've got like a super migraine headache right now too, man. You know, it's probably the demonic evil principalities of darkness and stuff. I told you I've had people in here looking at me all rotten looking like they can't stand me. Um, that's why I say no matter where I go, that's probably why I've been in my truck moving constantly. Because... Um, they just come in all around you, man. It's spiritual principalities is what's going on. But anyhow, um, I was 17 years old in 1977 when that photo was taken. Uh, so I've been in here for almost a couple of weeks. It's probably time for me to get out of here, you know. Because, of, yeah, I got to keep moving. I'm sure that's what it is. Um, this is it, people. We're getting ready to go, you know. So I said, keep that full armor on. Don't let your guard down. Don't deny the name of Jesus Christ. Um, just know, you know, if you got people looking at you strangely and all that, you know, like they can't stand you, they hate you and all that stuff, um, these are these demons that are hosting people. It's not the people themselves, excuse me. It's not the people themselves. It's a demonic spirit that's hosting them. You know, like I told you, that GI speaking against me, that photo. I guess he made a little four-second clip about it. You know how I put that photo up all the time saying, look, look. Well, he don't like it. There's a lot of them. That, I've had a lot of them say that to me, too. They said, uh, you know, Mark, that picture, it's got a lot of meat, but you show it too much. I'm going, nah, I don't show it enough. You know, and those people that said that, they were showing that hand sign, 666, a lot. The husband would do it, the wife would do it, the husband would do it, the wife would do it. I'm like, what's with that, you know? What is with that, you know? I, I knew immediately that I was in a demonic uh, home where there was evil there. You know, and then G.I. just happened to know them. You know, oh, I know these people. They're real good people. I'm going, yeah, that tells me a lot. And then when I hear these words where they say, just saying, you know, see, a lot of people are saying that. It's mimicking. What I call mimicking, you notice how a lot of people got their red and purple hair? It's mimicking. They're all doing the same thing. It's evil that's at hand right now. See, when we took Christ out of our schools, out of our government, um, then they say off the job force, that left it wide open, man, for evil. And people don't believe in it. You know, they don't believe in it. And this is what you get for not believing. You know, this is what happens. This is the end, though. I guarantee you that's what this Holy Bible is written for because he knew this day was coming. He knew it. And that's what it's here for. That's why I've been telling you, and here it also says, don't be deceived by no man, okay? Um, and I told you to get your King James Bible. In the back of it, it's got a dictionary for everything back there. Anybody that's saying anything, like, oh, I had a vision of the Lord, and he gave me some words to tell you, you know, to be encouraged by these words. Let me tell you something. 
All the words we need to be encouraged by are right here. There's red letter additions in here. His words. I'm sure Jesus Christ got everything out that he wanted to say in this book. Not some people telling us, be very careful. We don't want to uh, do anything outside of this Bible here. Trust me, man. This is vitally important right now. Um, they hate me with a passion. I believe that's the reason why I've got that um, trumpet above my head, blowing that trumpet. They don't like me at all. Um, I had somebody get on my thing, said, sent a thing saying, check out Sister Freda, wake up. You know, with a certain number behind it. I got on there and checked it out, and it was like, it was a, a, a homosexual person. You know, sounded like a woman dressed up, a man dressed up like a woman. Um, I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, and uh, I deleted it off of my things, you know, my, the, anything that I've ever watched, you know what I mean? And then I reported that person. And that's what I'm doing. Anybody that gets on here and they're, and they're speaking, leading people into false stuff, I'm going to report it and get you off of it. You know, and I do know a lot of people come onto my channel that's uh, demonic and they're followers of GI. I'm going to tell you right now, as soon as I get you out and I see who you are, I'm just going to report you on there and get you off as fast as I can. I'm not going to tolerate it. This is uh, people's eternal souls that are at stake here. Um, keep your full armor of God on. Keep your full armor of God on. And read that, okay? The, the full armor of God, Ephesians. And then, this right here, okay? These are just the key parables in these right here. That, you know, where we can escape these things. Okay? They're not talking about this in the churches. I don't know why they should be, but they're not. Um, that's what, that's going to cause a lot of people to be left behind. And especially if you're denying the name of Jesus Christ, you're going to be left behind. You know, this is your opportunity to escape these things. Your opportunity to escape them. See, I'm not just putting my photo up there, am I? That was when I was 17. But this is just for the evil ones that don't like it. I'm going to put it up there again. Okay? Since I know they don't like it. There's that little angel blowing that trumpet. Let me tell you, that's not no little angel. He's big and he's mighty. That's why they don't like him. I'm going to meet that little angel here personally one of these days. And uh, I'll be glad when I do. Because I know that they don't like him either. And I guarantee you, he's probably, who knows, watching over me right now. I've had a couple of people get hurt, tried to approach me. Um... But like I said, man, this is a spiritual battle we're in right now, okay? It's physical too. It's turning. It's going to be very physical here pretty soon. You know, those that don't escape this. And uh, this is what they don't want you to know. They don't want you to know that you can't escape it. That's why the churches don't even talk about it. And right out of Jesus' mouth, he said that. Pray that you be found worthy to escape this, Okay? And that doesn't have nothing to do with the uh, those being taken in a moment in the twinkling of the eye. doesn't have nothing to do with that. This is totally different. And see, your church pastors, you know, as much as they should know, they don't seem to know this. Why is that? Because they hijacked your churches a long time ago. That's why. And they're making a lot of money. They're enjoying their lives doing it. There's a lot of perversion in the churches today. Um, I've seen it. I've even showed a video on it where they had red and purple wigs on and two guys on each other. Like, it's crazy, man. Crazy. The things I've seen, you know, at this one church, the librarian that was in this church, she was wearing like a panther shirt, you know, like a panther skin shirt in the library. And I'm in there talking to her about it, and I'm saying, you know... All these books and these movies you're giving out to these people here. I said, you are they're giving out uh, horror movies and stuff like that. and All kinds of novelties had nothing to do with the Word of God. 
Yeah, I get, you know, even all these books people have been writing, uh, their versions of of the Word of God. You know what I mean? You go into a Christian bookstore, and you're gonna you'll have to look for this Bible, because when you first walk in there, all you're gonna see is Joyce Myers and uh, all these big level pastors that are writing their books. Um, don't buy their books. Don't buy them. Throw them in the trash. This is the only book you should be reading because the truth is going to be found in here. The watered down stuff is going to be found in their books. The make you feel good kind of stuff. And you don't need that. You need the truth. And uh, we're getting ready to go. You don't want to be left behind because those that are left behind, it's going to be extremely wicked for them. Um, I've seen in my hand where my hand turned transparent. And first it was my light, my fingertips. It looked like light flashlights, you know. I was like, wow, this is cool. And then my whole hand, pieces of skin started like dropping off of it. And uh, my hand was like transparent. It was almost like as if I'm being changed now on the inside. And I'm going to be changed transparent. And then pew, we're out of here. We're going to go that fast. And then those that are left behind... You know, it's going to be a different story for them. You know, they're going to have to go through the great tribulations. That's why I said, read that stuff that I said there. We're so close to leaving right now. Don't worry about a job. You know, don't if you if somebody's talking to you about politicians around you. This is that's your opportunity to speak about the Lord Jesus Christ. It's your opportunity. You know, and if you're more worried about your job, you're gonna you're gonna be disappointed. You're going to be highly disappointed because after we leave, ain't nobody going to here have a job. And ain't nobody going to enjoy their homes. Ain't nobody going to enjoy no part of nothing here. When we leave, grace is going with us. Grace is going with us, I promise you that. You know, I know it. You know, things I never noticed growing up was I'm my mother's fifth child. I was born in uh, May 23rd, May's the fifth month, two plus three is five, and I'm 55 today, you know, not today, but I'm 55 now, and on the 23rd, I'll be 56, you know, I believe, uh, I believe this is it, you know, we're getting out of here, I ain't claiming I know the day or the hour, but I know it's so close at hand. And I know these are the last seven years we're in right now. And America's not going to be around for these last seven years. America's probably got maybe two years at the most. And there's going to be nothing but havoc and destruction here. Why do you think Obama's already bought in a house someplace else? I guarantee you all these rich people already got a place someplace else. Hillary Clinton, her husband, all of them. They're all set up someplace else already. Don't be deceived any further. Keep the full armor of God on. Don't deny his name. And uh, I pray that you be found with the Holy Spirit. God bless you. And hopefully we'll see you up in the air with our Lord Jesus Christ.